Hi everyone, it's me Daisy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my banana crown rolls. These rolls have a great flavor and it will be perfect for breakfast or for a snack anytime. It's a beautiful roll and will get anyone's attention. It's not hard to make and may become your favorite way to use your overripe bananas. I'm sure everyone will love these rolls. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started! And here are the ingredients that we need. 315 grams bread flour, 120 grams overripe banana, 30 grams granulated sugar, 2.5 grams salt, 3 grams instant yeast, 30 grams unsalted butter, room temperature, 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon, 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract, 140 ml milk, and some pumpkin seeds. Using a blender tube or bowl, add salt, sugar, cinnamon, banana, milk, and vanilla extract. Mix with a hand blender until everything is liquefied. Using a wooden spoon, stir it until the cinnamon is incorporated. In a mixing bowl, add flour, banana mixture, and yeast. Mix it until you form a dough. Transfer to a lightly floured surface and knead for about one minute. Then add butter, And continue to knead for 8 to 10 minutes until elastic. Transfer to a lightly oiled bowl over
and let it rest for one hour. After rising, transfer the dough to a lightly floured surface. Dust it with a bit of flour and press it flat. Next, divide the dough into 9 pieces. In each dough, approximately weigh 70 grams. Then, form each dough to a small ball. Cover and let it set for 10 minutes. Now, flatten each bowl and roll into a bowl again. with the exception of the last ball. Roll it flat with a rolling pin. Divide it into eight triangular segments. Then, attach all triangles to the dough balls. And, transfer to a nonstick or lightly buttered baking pan. Cover and let it rise for one hour or until doubled in size. Uncover the rolls.
and brush with milk. and place your pumpkin seeds. Then bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 18 minutes or until golden brown. Remove from the oven and let it cool for 5 minutes in the pan. and transfer to a serving dish. Serve and enjoy! Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it, please hit the like icon, leave a comment below, share and subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to know the full details of the recipe, just click the description box below and hit the bell icon for you to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you and have a great one. Bye-bye!